If you are a motion graphics or a motion design artist, then you will definitely love this add-ons makeover. It has been updated lately with a new name and more than 16 new features. Before, it was limited to turning the particles into rigid bodies, but now many functionalities were added to it. This annals name was Cars Physics and Simulation Expander, but with this update, it is called MoGraph Effects based on what it can do now. Particle Animator is one of those new functionalities. It copies an object or collection to each particle and tracks its position in every single frame, automatically framing it for you. Also with this update, you can tell each particle to emit fluid, smoke, and fire from the moment of birth, and you can delay it as well by the amount of frames, and you can set and control the length of it. Particle Emit on Death is another tool of this add-on. It basically does the same thing as the previous tool, but at the moment of death instead of the moment of birth. Generally, it can be used for effects like fireworks and explosions. The add-on can also know if there is enough particles to fill any holes in the mesh. Another tool that came with this update is Particle Stand-In Tool that allows you to create a perfect copy of a mesh or scan and fill a volume at the resolution you choose. With that, you can offset when particles start if they are sorted in a logical order, so you can see the mesh build from the right to left or center. You can also apply that and form a mesh with a collection of objects, so particles and collections can form into other objects, which gives you endless options and unlimited possibilities to create whatever is in your mind. Offset Animation Tool gives you the ability to control your animation in a more optimized way, where you can tell the animation to offset each piece based on distance and curve animation, and make a collection of particle systems offset their start and end time for cold chain reactions. In addition to that, there is a cool camera tracker tool that automatically follows objects. There is also another major tool called Voxelize that allows you to turn a mesh into voxels. This tool is not completely new in this add-on, but it contributed a fair share to this update. Now it allows a bit of size variation so that the pieces in the middle can be larger to reduce the object count for rigid body simulations. Also, it now allows you to fill a mesh and colorize it based on image textures of the object. You can choose a custom object to voxelize with that object and even use offsets to include particle systems, metaflow, or flip fluids on a custom object. This update actually has more than what I mentioned here because the add-on was heavily updated with a lot of other features. We will mention among them remove overlapping, change of particles, copy animations, constraint generation, and much more. If you are interested, you can find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.